So this is actually not shocking at all. If you've been following the Z Fold 5 in any way possible, my channel or whoever else, you know already that the Z Fold 5 is not really that much different than the Z Fold 4. It's as a Samsung employee would say, almost like a Z 4s and that's really what happens when you as a company don't have much competition in the industry which means that you don't really have to reinvent the wheel right you can kind of just get by with minor upgrades now the z Fold 5 is going to have a different processor a um, snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor it's also going to be dust resistant with a new hinge but other than that, no, we're not expecting to see much of anything else different. The cameras are going to be upgraded slightly, same equivalent of the Galaxy S23 line. But yeah, no, we're not expecting too much of a difference. And again, it is what it is. I mean, we're not really going to see them change up anything on the Z Fold lineup until, until... We eventually see Google, Microsoft take a huge leap forward and really dominate this market with Samsung. And then they're going to have to, right? You can't have a company, you know, a company have no competition and see them keep pushing out crazy ideas and crazy devices. It just isn't cost effective for them. So this is kind of what we've been hearing about for the longest time. Which is what, I guess, kind of, you know, sparks up more debate with the whole Samsung employees complaining about this. Because, obviously, they've been working on this and it is what it is. The Z Fold 5 is going to be more powerful than the Google Pixel Fold. The Z Fold 5 is going to be the most powerful, affordable phone on the market when it does release in uh, end of July. It's going to have the a camera set that is very doable. It's not comparable to a lot of other top-end smartphones. It's going to have dust resistant, which again is the first smartphone out there in history now. Foldable smartphone, I, I should add, that has dust resistance. It's going to have wireless charging, waterproofness. It's going to have NFC. It's going to have, you know, not a 8-inch inside display, but still a 7.6-inch. The crease is apparently a lot better than it was last year. And again, everything else is the same. The hinge is different, but this is kind of what we kind of have to expect moving forward. Now, let's say hypothetically speaking, you know, Google Pixel Fold this year sells like crazy, like does amazing. And it becomes a really big, you know, competitor in this industry. I mean, we got to keep in mind, Z Fold, I mean, sorry, the Pixel Fold hasn't even technically hit store shelves yet. It's still in pre-order base, right? It's still in pre-order stages. So the general public has not even received that phone yet. Once that, like, you know, goes crazy, let's say during, you know, Christmas time, holiday time, that phone does really good, the Z Fold 6 might be amazing. Z Fold 6 might be a huge upgrade. But it's not going to be if that phone isn't successful. It's not going to be if Oppo, when they release their phone, or OnePlus releases their phone, if that doesn't become successful. We need to see these companies really, you know, take a step forward in order to see some competition and see some new devices or new things. But it is what it is. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.